All right, this is a tutorial on how to get to VNDS, the Visual Novel uh, Homebrew Program for DS, up and running on DS. It's also on Android, but that is a separate tutorial on this channel. So, first you need to download three things. First is the Melon DS emulator. Um, there are probably other emulators you can use, but Melon DS has a specific feature that I know not every other DS emulator has that you need to run VNDS. So here if you can see, I was just on the main page which is linked in the description, and then you pick the download for your system. So in this case it will be Windows 64. Then the second thing you need to download is VNDS itself. There are different places on the internet you can download it, but a lot of them are through archive.org or through the Wayback Machine. So I have uploaded it raw to the archive.org instead of having to go through the Wayback Machine. So uh, 1.4.9, which as you can see is this version, is the most recent version. There is also 1.5.2 and 1.5.3, but despite their names, this is the newest version. So you should download this. And if you want to use the other two versions, just check my Internet Archive page which has the other two versions. And then finally you need this DLDI file. I think you can generate them with MelonDS, but it's been so long that I forgot how, and also it's just, you know, I've made it a little easier by letting you download it raw, just, you know, from the internet. And this is also linked in the description, and you can also find it on my Internet Archive page. Next, what you need to do is open up MelonDS itself, uh, it comes in a zip file, so you just have to extract it, and uh, you have to extract everything else. So, like the, uh, you have to extract the NDS, and you have to extract the DLDI file, just because you know that's how it works on the Internet Archive. They're in zip folders, and then what you have to do is go to config, emu settings, DLDI, then you have to click this checkbox to enable it then browse and this is where you select this dldi.bin file for this sd card image and then your image size i don't think it matters but as you can see i have four gigabytes and it works fine then you want to check this sync to folder and this you want the folder to be the vnds folder so what this basically does is it makes a uh, kind of emulates, not really the correct word, but it, think of it as it emulates, emulates an SD card that has VNDS as the on the root of the SD card, which is needed for it to work. Even on actual Nintendo DS software, if VNDS is not on in the root folder, then it just doesn't work. So that's what this does, and that's why you need this DLDI file. And then, of course, you like I mentioned, you browse and you select the VNDS folder. And then finally, to actually get it running, all you have to do is open ROM. I'll just open recent here. And then in the uh, root VNDS folder, inside of it, there is VNDS.NDS, which is Nintendo DS Homebrew. So all you have to do is open that, and the program will run and see here. These are novels which are in the novels folder. And that is all you have to do to get it running on DS Emulator. Thanks for watching.